How you guys? Good morning. Good morning. Get ready with me. Why not? Let's get ready, guys. Today is Wednesday, right? It is Wednesday, right? I believe it is. I figure I'll go short today. Wear one of my little short pixie wigs. I haven't done this in a while, so every once in a while I gotta go short. I know it look crazy right now, but I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna get it together. Slowly but surely. Let me see. Where am I gonna start? I do wanna I need to trim it up a little bit though. I do need a couple of trims. Let me see. I gotta couple trim a couple of curls rather. I love these little short pixie wigs. It's so convenient, so easy to wear, and it's so cute. You can wear it just like this, or you can wear it wet. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. So I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to trim it to my liking. I glued the sides down. I glued like this part. I glued this part here down and this side here down. Let me see. Where am I going to start? By the way, this is like an orange color, you guys. It's like a burnt orange color. Let me wet it just a little bit. I just had to put a little bit of water on it just so I can get it so I can style it the way I want it. Now I can see more where I can where I want to trim. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of my mousse too. Usually when I do my curly hair, I'll use water and just conditioner. And um, every once in a while, I'll use my mousse to kind of, if I wanna like style it, if I want one part to stay in a certain place, I'll put like a little mousse on the sides to get it to how I like it. Let me take my mousse out real quick. Mm. 
Yes. Hey, you guys. Well, now you say that every dog, every time I come on here, you you need some hair. Don't ever even come and get any. You need to get into this short hair, Renata, and quit being scared. You can, you know, you you know you can wear long hair, so you know you can wear some short hair. It don't make you look older. It actually just gives you this really, really elegant look. Don't be afraid of short hair, you guys. Be afraid of short hair. Think it's gonna make you look older? Don't even think that. Look at me. That's a way to make this hair look real good. So this is what I use right here, you guys. It's Ozzy Scrunch Mousse Leave-In condi leave Conditioner. And it does get hard and a little crunchy, but you can just put some water on top of that afterwards and just squish it around so it won't be as hard. But if you don't mind the stiffness of it, it's fine. Because it's going to look like it's wet anyway with this, um, with this, with this, um, leave-in mousse. It's going to give you that wet look, but it's going to be hard, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You can do the same thing too, Renata. I swear you can rock this stuff right here. You can rock this little short curly hair. And look, and it's nice, nice full bangs. This color is off the chain too. And my blonde ones is really, really cute too.
you can make these little short hair, um, these little short wigs look just like it's your hair. It looks so natural. And you see what I'm doing with this mousse? You see how I'm just slicking that down? And I'm gonna put on my hoop earrings. That'll even bring out the bring out the hair even more. I like to wear big earrings or either some um, long like chandelier looking earrings with my short hair. It just does something to the whole entire look. Let me grab, let me grab my earring. This is another style that you can dress up and dress down. I still don't have it looking like I want it to look yet. I just have to keep playing with it. All right, now I'm gonna start putting my glue on my eyelashes. I gotta wash my hands.
and because I am not um, showing my eyebrows, I don't have to do my dramatic eyebrows today. I'm just going to use my little um, microbladed marker to do my eyebrows. I'm going to do them really, really simple. This is a microbladed um, marker. It has hair strokes. It makes hair strokes. Um, Ethan, if you don't come out of there right now. This how I do it. It's not for you. Come out of the shower. It's for you, not me. Take it back in there, Ethan. Wait on these eyebrows. Wait for my eyelashes to um dry. This is an oil primer. I gotta move this hair out the way until I finish my face. <laughs> it's not gonna look like this when I finish, trust me. It's gonna be cute. I'm using my Fenty Ease Drop in number 19.
I'm going to use a little concealer underneath my eye today. And this is the color. Um, dang, it rubbed off. I want to say it's peanut butter. Let me see. No, Graham, this is graham cracker. Graham cracker. So I'm just going to use a little. Because I usually don't use concealer under my eyes. But I'm going to do a little bit. Because somebody asked me about it. I usually don't even do this part because this just be messing up my whole little routine. But I'm going to do it this time. Let me see. You're supposed to use way more than this because as you can see that I'm kind of like blending it in too much. But um, you're supposed to use more than this. But I don't like using concealer in front of my eyes. I actually wiped it all off. I don't wipe it all out. Let me go back over with my with my brush. It's still going to appear a little light under my eyes. But not much. I'm just trying to make it just look natural. A natural highlight. Okay. So it's more of a natural highlight if you can see that. It's not really bright up under there at all. I'm gonna put some powder. Translucent powder, Lori Mercier. The color is honey. Now I am going to contour my cheekbones. I want to make my cheekbones appear like they're like snatched, and also just it's like it's like I'm giving myself almost like a lift. I just messed that up right there, but I'll go back and fix it. I just messed that up. After too much.
And now I am going to contour my nose. And I'm going to use an ebony bronzer. Plus, it's um, CoverGirl bronzer. And the name is Ebony. Oh, shoot. I'm going ahead of the game. Hold on. <laughs> I got to go back in with my concealer. I got to. I gotta put down, I have to put my um, concealer on my nose first, you guys. Sorry. I'm going, I'm trying to go fast. And me going fast is making me forget my little steps. So this is my concealer by Huda Beauty and it's in the color peanut, peanut butter. I'm gonna make a line down my nose. It's a little crooked, but you can always fix that. See how I just did that? Now I'm straight. I'm gonna smear just a little bit more. Okay, and now I'm gonna put a little powder on it to seal it. Translucent powder. And now I'm going to go down the sides of my nose with my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. I know it looked harsh right now, but I'm gonna blend it where it's gonna look super, super natural and pretty. And now I'm going to get my highlighter. I think I'm going to use my um, Dior highlighter. This is my Dior. It's um, called Dior Skin Air, um, Nude Air. And this is what it looks like. It's a gold color. I'm going to wet my brush. And now I'm going to bring back my highlights in my nose. My natural highlights in my nose. On my nose. Now I'm gonna see if my um, eyelashes are almost dry so I can put them on. I'm pretty tacky.
leave the remote control alone. Now you see how this hair just give you this really, really nice, elegant look. And you just play around with the hair until you get it to how you like it. Right now, it's kind of like too much in my face. And I see where I can cut some more. see what kind of lipstick I have. Um, so I don't wanna I don't want to do the red because I have burnt orange hair. Don't want to do a purple because I'll be looking crazy. And this is a pink. We don't want to do a pink. I need something really, really neutral. Like, uh, I'm trying to find it. I have a lot of reds. They all different reds, but I have a lot of different reds. Um, do I do nude? Um. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to, I am going to use, I'm going to use my chestnut. Lips have to dry. Tell me you guys, would you guys wear this? Would you wear this wig? Let me show you the back of it. I remember back in the day when I used to call myself 
<laughs> putting lip liner on, which it wasn't a lip liner. It was a doggone black, um, it was a black eyeliner. And that was a no-no. I didn't know, I didn't know better. But I do now, so the best color for your lips, um, if you want to outline your lips and just wear it like this, is a brown lip liner. And this one is by MAC. And the color is chestnut. And you'll do this. And you'll smear it to make it look good. You don't just put it on and make it look all harsh. Because I would draw that lip liner on my... I would dry that, draw that eyeliner on my lips. And put some Vaseline on it. thought it was cute. Oh my goodness. I straight set myself up. If I could find an old picture, I'll post it. So you can see what I'm talking about. I smooth set myself up on that. But you know that you do that. You would think that I'm going out right now, huh? <laughs> but no. I have to advertise my wig today. I have to advertise this wig because, you know, I am the only model for this wig here. And like I was telling you guys, this is an elegant look. Don't be afraid if it makes you look older. At least you still look nice. Don't worry about that. I know I probably look like a totally, a total, complete different person, but no, I'm still the same person. May look a little different, still the same. So you got, is this a yay or a nay? Yay or nay? Is, did this come out okay? Does it look, look okay? Is it too much? Be honest. I'm going to do one more thing. You know, I have to put my um, signature mold on my face. And that completes the look. Okay, you guys. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful, great day, and I will do the same.